Okay, welcome back everybody. We're on video number three. We're talking a bit more about stem cells, those cells that are undifferentiated and can become any type of cell, how we might use those in medical treatments, where we get them from, and this process of therapeutic cloning. Now, stem cells can be taken from adults from bone marrow, and those stem cells could be used to treat conditions like diabetes, in which case we'd want those stem cells to become the insulin producing cells in a patient's pancreas. And the stem cells could also be used, for example, to help treat spinal cord injuries, where we might want to produce cells that match up and create repairs to the nervous system. The process of therapeutic cloning takes this a step further and would actually create a new human embryo from an adult. In other words, taking a donor egg, using a cell from an adult body cell and creating a cloned embryo with identical genetics to the adult that it was taken from. This would provide stem cells that would be an exact match for the person that the nucleus of the body cell was taken from. So an advantage of this process is that the cells are an individual exact match to the person that we want to use them in and they would not be rejected by that person's body. In theory, those stem cells can be used to differentiate into different tissues. So spinal cord, some nervous tissue, heart tissue, kidney, insulin producing cells to fix diabetes. And at its extreme, whole organs could be produced in a lab, grown to order to exactly match the patient who needed them. So in the future, we may well use stem cells that have been from cloned human embryos to re grow replacement organs for our cells, a very individual treatment. Now, there are risks of using stem cells. There's some evidence that because these cells can divide quite quickly, that there might be a risk of cancers developing. Uh, but mostly the objections would be from people who have ethical or religious objections to the medical use of stem cells. So the problem comes from the origin of these cells. You have to create a human embryo to extract them from. And there are ethical decisions to make about whether that is okay to create a cloned embryo and use its cells to make somebody better. Religious groups may also object for um, religious reasons to using stem cells.